All right, so I'm going to show you how to add vectors together and how to multiply vectors because we need to know that before we can subtract vectors. So this is going to be the simplest way of doing it. Watch. So suppose you have a random vector. And then a second random vector. Now I'm going to give these two vectors names. So I'm going to call this vector the dog vector and cat vector. Well, like why would we choose such a random name? Well, what do dogs and cats usually like to do when they're playing together? The dog likes to be chasing after the cat. Specifically, it's chasing after the tail of the cat. So the way we're going to be doing our first mathematical operation in vectors is going to be vector addition. Our goal, we want to add our dog vector plus our cat vector. But you're like, oh, how come before you had the hats? Well, it turns out we can give the hats to here. We can give the hat to the dog and the hat to the cat. So this is a new operation, dog plus the cat. Now if you're catching on to the joke, because the dogs are chasing the cat, the head of the dog catches the tail of the cat. So that's exactly how we add two vectors together. So once we have these two vectors, the sum is going to be known as head to tail. So we're going to add these two together, head to what does that look like? Hmm. Let's redraw the two. And now since we're attaching head to tail, it will look something like that. Okay, so I'm going to erase this for now. We'll come back to it later. So again, we're learning how to add head to tail. We can move it around such that we can think of adding the head of one vector to the tail of the second vector. So when we do this, the resultant, or the sum, is the tail of the first, which is the dog, to the head of the second. So this is known as dog plus cat. This was dog. This was cat. All right, this looks so silly. You're like, wow, this teacher must be teaching me some random stuff. I don't even believe him anymore. But it turns out that this is just like a playful way to show you of remembering vector addition, which is known as head to tail method. You attach the two vectors head to tail, then the resultant will be the tail of the first to the head of the second. So this is the most random quantity ever because when you add in two vectors, the sum, or the resultant, we're going to call it, is a new vector, dog cat. Kind of like the TV show that was in the old days, you know, dog cat they, they had, they were combined together. I don't know if that's still popular today, but it was kind of funny during my time. So it turns out that, that now we know how to add, and if you remember, our goal was to subtract vectors. So it turns out we got to learn how to add first, and then multiply. So this is vector addition. Let's add a label so it's nice. Okay, so once we learn vector addition, the next thing, which doesn't make sense, like, should we do subtraction? Well, we're not ready for that. First, we need to do what's known as a scalar multiplication. Now, for scalar multiplication, your power of intuition is going to be very helpful here. So, suppose we have a vector u. Again, we can keep on calling vectors whatever we want, as long as we give them a hat. So this is our starting vector. Let's make a new vector, and let's call it 2u. So that's what it means to do a scalar multiplication, because we're multiplying our vector u by the scalar, which is just a number, 2. Hmm, if this is u, what do you think 2u will look like? Uh, I think your intuition can tell you it's going to be twice as long. Uh, let's see. 
That's about right. So it's going to be twice as long, but the direction remains the same. Huh. So that's the first scalar multiplication. What if we wanted to do half of you? What would that look like? Well, it's going to be in the same direction, but it's going to be half the length. Maybe that's a bit too exaggerated, right? No, that's pretty good. That's half. Good job. Okay, so let me add some dividers, otherwise, you might get mixed up. Now, the last one that we need to consider for scalar multiplication is going to be negative u. Negative u. Well, that's u, negative is usually thought of as in the other way. So this negative means in the opposite direction. So you're going to keep the same length, but now you're going in the opposite direction. Let's see. That's about right, and now it's in the opposite direction. So we learn new operations with vectors. How do we add? We take our two vectors, we attach them head to tail. So again, imagine the head of this vector to the tail of the second one. The resultant is the sum. Another operation is we can multiply vectors by a scalar, which is a number. So we can scale them. If we start with the vector u, 2u will be twice as long, half of u will be half as long, negative u, opposite direction. So it turns out that we need to take these two ideas in order to learn how to subtract vectors. So let's do vector subtraction. Uh, let's start off with two vectors. We have a vector u and vector v. So let's label these. Again, we can pick up random names, but now let's not call the dog and cat. It'll make it too confusing at this point. We have two vectors. We kind of see what the sum looks like, right? Remember the dog was going this direction, cat was to the right. But now for subtraction, let's say we want to find out u minus b. The trick that we're going to use, we're going to trick this equation into thinking it's a sum. We're going to rethink of it like a sum. So what does that look like? u plus negative v. So in other words, we can just use our head to tail method that we learned for addition and our negative, which you might us to go in the opposite direction. So let's see what that will look like. Our vector u, we do nothing to it, this is redraw it. But now v, we need to form the vector negative v. So that would be going in the opposite direction. But notice how they're attached still. They're still attached head to tail. So let's add our labels to this. This is u, negative v. The resultant, the tail of the first, to the head of the last. So u minus v. So now we learn a couple of vector operations. For subtraction, you need to trick the equation into thinking as a sum and make sure that you put the second one in the opposite direction, especially in your labels too, at this point. And then there's the result u minus v. So we did all of this so we can try to figure out the solution to how to make tree A and B friends again, because right now they're saying, hey, the cheetah's in different positions according to my coordinate system. So we want them to agree on something and be friends again, right? It's a good idea. Right? 